Are you- you're not even bad, you're just the dude. Oh my god, I thought you were an enemy. <laughs>It's McMuscles in your area, and I have some a pocket-sized suited, pocket-sized fun for you all today. This is Neo Geo Pocket Collection Volume One. Uh, big thanks to SNK themselves and Home Run PR for sending me a code for this. I have bought uh, all the other uh, Pocket uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color games that have since released on the Switch, but this collection is brand brand new. Um, what did I buy? I had Fatal Fury: First Contact, and of course I. I had SNK versus Capcom, the match of the millennium. But um, this collection puts in uh, 10 games here. And I think some of these are like available for like the first time, maybe outside of Japan. Uh, I've been really keen to check this out. Um, we have Big Tournament Golf, Dark Arms Beast Buster, which I'm, I'm really interested in because I remember there being like an SNK... A uh, rail shooter on the arcades, like in the mid '90s, called Beast Buster. So I'm, I'm uh, really interested to see if that's the same franchise. Fatal Fury: First Contact, which I absolutely, completely forget even existing. When I first saw this name pop up in like news sites, like, oh, a Switch game is coming called Fatal Fury: First Contact. I was like, there's a new Fatal Fury game. I fucking fell right off the toilet. I was so amazed when I heard that. Uh, Gal Fighters, a uh, big fan favorite right there. A uh, King of Fighters R2. I've never played this either. Uh, Mash of Millennium, as we discussed, I did play this uh, on the standalone Switch version a few weeks back, and it's still super good. All their fighting games, I'm sure all of these, I haven't played a couple of them before, but I'm sure all these are, you know, really, really charming, as is the Neo Geo Pocket Way. Samurai Showdown Samurai Showdown 2 Pocket Fighting Series. Um, again, didn't even know this one existed. Uh, we have Metal Slug Second Mission, then Metal Slug the First Mission. Should have gone in the right order. And the, la the last Blade Beyond the Destiny. That's that's a really good name. Let's start with Metal Slug the First Mission. Now, the neat thing about this particular release is that um, it lets you zoom in on the box uh, because... As everyone knows, any Neo Geo style boxes are uh, uh, a joy to behold just because they're so colorful and huge. This is actually really neat. There's something about this where I'm like, oh, they didn't have to do this, but it's it's super cool regardless. You can also look through the old school manual for each game. Again, a, a really neat feature. More more collections should do this type of thing. I know a few do, but uh, I think these are really, like these are immaculate scans. All right, it has been a while since I've played a metal slug, but as many of you know out there, my um, reflexes are quite sluggish, so I should be fine. Uh, there's, there's Target, some say Target. Uh, we'll just, we'll start there. Sub metal slug and unit of development. That makes mm, that makes perfect sense. I love this localization. Into battle. Destroy it ASAP, please. Whenever you you can do it. As per my last email, you need to destroy that weapons depot. So it definitely has that fun bouncy uh, speed to the animations that metal slug is kind of known for. It's it's really weird. It's like they're very elaborate and drawn out. I never played the Neo Geo Pocket when it was like, oh my god, when it was new. Do I have a grenade? Oh god. I, of course I run right into it. So that was ne that was Metal Slug the first mission. That's a really satisfying gun to use. Just raining down death. God. That's a baby-sized helicopter or am I just giant? Alright, we're good. We're good. Okay, go! Yeah! I saved that bearded dude. Love that guy. He's snapping his trousers, feeling really cocky and confident, that one. All right. Oh, I, I thought I was going to be able to get into that. I'll just safely and cowardly destroy that from here. Okay, good. That took a lot of fire, but, I mean, it is it is a tank, so. Ooh. Now, I did see a guy down here, though, so probably, yeah. Give me something good. No, don't flash me your pants. Okay, well, it didn't really give me anything great, but. Oh. Oh. To be fair, I deserve to die. Wow, it's, it's, it's game over! Right there, huh? Okay, we'll do this better, I think. Will we? It, 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 we did! Yeah! Free cactar! 
Yeah, there, here we go, here we go. Now, whenever you get into the, to this little tank, the metal slug, as it were, uh, oh, it takes a little time to acclimatize to controls. How? How can a machine, a dreading behemoth, some would say, be able to jump? It boggles the mind. Can I actually make this jump? No, I can't. Uh, let's try to make that jump better. Yes! I want to pick up whatever this is. I, I assume it's health because it's a wrench and... I, or I pick up a snake. I'll pick up a snake. Why not? Oh my god. Okay, just that, huh? Then just give me a taste. A taste of the slug. Oh yeah. I don't know what that guy thinks he's gonna achieve there. That's a losing battle. I, I don't know. There's not a boss meter. There never usually is in, in Metal Slug games, but I'd like to think I can... I, I'll know I'm getting to the boss morally. I have to think about his emotional state and <laughs> how it looks, how he feels. God, this background really reminds me of Kevin Ryan's background from Garo. Please release Garo, SNK, if, if anyone is listening, release Garo on the Switch. Release Garo every year on everything. Oh, well... That's, that's, that's the game over. Let's switch over, uh, just for variety's sake, SNK versus Capcom, match of the millennium. That's not a bad startup at all. It's very cute. <gasps> you have to suck in breath whenever you see SNK versus Capcom. Yeah. Oh! Filter's a little aggressive here. There are some uh, things for that. So let's let's kind of mess around. I think that looks a little bit better just for video viewing. I, I, it definitely looks a little bit better for me because being so close to the screen, that's a little... If you're playing this on your Switch, you won't really mind, I'd imagine, because it's so far away. But like, I'm pretty up close to my monitor, so... Let's start this thing up and see who can defeat these millionaires. This does have little mini games, if, if memory serves. I don't remember getting too much into them, but let's just, let's just tourney it up first. Single tag team? I'll go with team. Average. Oh, is this kind of like groove? Yeah. Uh, use one blow and max to win. Huh. Build power and counterattack. Wild rushes with the chain combo. I'm pretty average, so, like, as a person, so let's stick with that. Holy shit. Uh, I want my. Where's Terry? Where's Terry at? Terry? <gasps> no. I just didn't find- there he is, thank god. Take Terry. Oh, but Leona's here too, god damn. No, take my. I want my cutie- cutie my. Ooh, Felicia. Oh, Chun. Morgan, the only new Morgan sprite ever. And Guile. Terry! My! Ken! Oh wow, that's fast. That feels fast and nice. I don't mind that at all. N no voice samples, but I like tweeting Iori. That's good. Barnaku! Now, the question remains. Yeah! Sorry. Sorry if that blew out the speakers, everyone. I'm just really excited. <laughs> that's, that's animated really nicely. This does make me feel that, like, SNK really had the right idea with these games, like shrinking them down to work better on a handheld rather than when Capcom would just try to port Street Fighter games to handhelds and they, I mean, it would vary, but the earlier handhelds, like there wasn't that much. It was only until the advent of like the PSP. Um, although I still give massive credit to the GBA port of Alpha 3. But everything before that was was kind of rough. Now, do I have Buster Wolf? I I may not get enough um, super energy. God, these are so fun. Now, one thing though is that there doesn't seem to be an actual move list uh, unless you go into the manual. Maybe that's why they did it. But for fighting games, that's you know have to scroll through all of this to find the character that you want. Okay, Super Deadly Ninja Beast. It is that. That's what I was doing. Lotus Storm though. I'm not familiar with Lotus Storm. That's just a name that, that means nothing to me. Lotus Storm sounds cool. All right, Dan, I don't I don't think I'll stop shaking. <laughs> uh, I'm not shaking, actually. That's that's crazy that you would think I'm shaking. Uh, 
Maybe maybe level two is my max. Okay. Oh, get fucked! I do remember Lotus Storm actually. Just what it actually looks like. Oh, that was awesome. Message, sir. Please let it be geese. I have no idea who the boss of this game is. A mighty a mighty one won the second match. There's just a mighty one. Who is it? Has to be geese. Please don't let it be Krauser. No, no, please let it be Krauser. No, I don't want uh, Rugal. Terry, origin unknown. You know who Terry is. <gasps> it's someone we must eliminate. No, then it's Bison. Shall I do it? Oh my god, it is Bison. Wait, let Terry be now! <laughs> Mwah! Terry's here? Okay, yeah, there's Terry. That's such a meaty... Not meaty in the fighting game sense, but I mean, it's a girthy. Nice, girthy uh, Hadouken. I like it. 60 of you could <laughs> be... That's such a good quote. Come on, fool. This will be fast. I feel I already I already beat you, Yori. I love how that we're at like Chun Li stage from Street Fighter Alpha One. Like, what a pick. Ah, all right. I checked the move list. It seems unfortunately that Terry does not have Buster Wolf. Uh, he just has Triple Geyser, which I mean I like Triple Geyser, obviously, but it's a little disappointing. Shinakuma. Oh no, it's just Vega. I'll turn you into confetti. <laughs> Wait, it is Shinakuma! Oh, it's just Violent Ken! You were losing to that guy? I, the fight didn't even start. Or, so you're Ken Masters! I've never seen you before, ever! How about a little sparring? Okay, let's go! Ha, Terry, you fight well. But a battle still awaits. Welcome to your final arena! Where am I? It's still not over? Jeez! <laughs> Terry found at point two oh five F. Begin removal. Begin deleted. Delete. Oh, you're good. Snuck up on me. Here we go again. I'll take you all on at once. I'll fight you at your own level. So it's like a bunch of Shin versions. Oh Jesus. Whoa! That was like 75% of my health bar. Aw, oh, I, I thought it was gonna be Sawada. Welcome, Terry. As promised, the ultimate arena. Geese! It is you, what is this scheme? Geese, Terry Bogart, gullible as ever. You're but a pawn in my palm, fool. Gulp? <laughs> Stop shaking! You've proven yourself brave. A fine specimen, Terry. What, serve you? What you mean? Waha, very well. Listen, I'll tell you my entire plan. You'll now be Shadowloo's uh, legion. Our guards you just fought were but mere samples, but you'll become the real thing. Maya doesn't understand what's going on. I'd make a terrible servant. Waha, you're real interesting. Now, let me see something unique. You unique? Oh, that's Ryu. Watch this. N no, why are you here, Ryu? It was tough, but he's mine now. My, my's like, who, who is this? And you'll be a killer too. With that, I'll create my army. You can't escape. Please die quick. It's over. You fool, betrayal again? Then face my psycho power. Oh. You're, you're going down, Bison. I, it, it, he should have jumped in and taken the rest of that super. Yeah, one! Who's Bison? I'm beaten. Preposterous. What's this? An earthquake? The system is down. The system is down. It's all over, Terry. All over. Oh, no. <laughs> you got it. The creature, it awakes! Wait, what now? You're a goner, but I'm history. It's my gift, the killer wave! Wahaha! Am I fighting like a violent Ryu? Oh my god, it's just straight up evil Ryu. Geese got away, and now this? Alright, let's mix it up, this get and that, and mix it up! I think we can do this. This is the real final finals. 
That's so dope. Watch it just be like become like a boss rage all of a sudden. He's actually like legit the hardest character to be in fighting games. I don't feel like he is. He's actually quite easy right now. You're so weak. Get hungry. <laughs> just tell people not to eat. That's that's Terry's way. Terry has nothing to say here. Geese, another full uh, foul plot foiled. You never learn. Anyway, we could stop his evil. I have enough now. You have enough evil? That was fun, Terry. Nothing can stop us two. I'll tell Andy you're better than ever, okay? Don't overdo it. Later, guy. <laughs> okay, Terry. It was brief, but it was sweet. We may be on opposite sides next time. So watch it. I'll still be more stronger than you. I'll still be more stronger than you. Bye, Terry. I pray we meet yet once again. I'll be leaving, but you'll pay. Oh, believe me, you'll pay. No one defies me and lives. Gahaha, ha ha ha. And Bison, a bit of a wimp for me. I'm gonna put an end to Geese and his clowns. <laughs> Fools, they don't even know I'm here. They'll all pay. For the suffering, they'll atone for that. Watch out, you you almost bought it. Whoa, Ken, Ken Masters, the guy I just said goodbye to. My loss to you gave a uh, get. My loss to you set me straight. Thanks, Terry. But I want a rematch in the near future, so watch. So this is the canon Ken, the one in the purple jocks. Okay, you got it. See you later. Okay, bye. Bye, Ken Sprite. It's too early for me to ease up, I see. I realized it fighting Ken. I'm a hungry wolf. I need to get tough. Get hungry! Eat a Snickers. I mean, get that well, that gets rid of your hunger. Fangs drawn, in the action, and invincible. You know, Joe recently lost a kickboxing. Why are we bringing up Joe's failures? I lost to eight, lost to eight on, I think. But he won't lose again. Holy shit, Joe lost to eight on? That's canon? Interesting. I'll go see it. The legendary wolf fight, the <laughs> legendary wolf fight never ends. Furious foes across the sea still await me. And those fists will find a new legend to face. Dude, this ending's incredible. All right, so what is Beast, beast Busters? They're, they're busting beasts and it makes them feel good. Noah, jeez. Whoa, that looks awesome. The contract of, oh jeez, okay, the hunt begins. That's fine. That's you. You can literally start up any game and say the hunt begins. I'll be like, yeah, okay, that's fine. Once upon a time, there used to be a group of people called Beast Busters, specialists in mysterious phenomena and happening, which cannot be explained by science. It is said among the Busters that there was a book called The Contract of Darkness, and that it contains information on how to acquire all the in an indestructible weapon, which enables them to defeat the people of the darkness. It is said that recently one Buster entered into a contract of darkness and went to the world of spirits to get the almighty weapon. Wow, it seemed like... Whoa, I will help you. I like a purple skeleton. You know I do. I will help you now. All creatures in this world call me Master. Master, now tell me what your name was in the world you came from. And let me tell you, I won't ask twice. Whoa. My name is Maddie. You can't tell me anything else. That's all I can fit. Ah, Maddie! <laughs> well, actually, you won't be reading your name in this world. Ha ha ha. Now I shall give you a weapon called Catcher. Use the catcher to catch beasts. This Pokemon? Don't worry, I'll count the number of beasts caught. Right now, go to the Graveyard of Darkness. <laughs> Bring back the seed under the statue of the Goddess of Darkness. Get some food as well. <laughs> Everyone's trying to stay hungry or like feed their hunger. Seek and make a weapon. Oh my god, this is like an action RPG. Alright, Dark Grab. <laughs> that sounds weird, Dark Grab. Wow, look at this thing. I, when I was preparing to play this, I was just like, well, this has to be... Actually, I had no idea what this was going to be. I came to get the... I can't, I can't. But I can't find it. 
I lost my partner and now I can't get out of this darn graveyard. This darn graveyard! There is no more sport, more bloodthirsty, more prone to violence and fits of rage. Or right, I'll be young hero. <laughs> <laughs> Technician, veteran, putt master, I like that. Power golfer, or shot maker. All right, so now it's, a, it's, the, it's the putting mini game. You know the one. I, I don't know if that's good. Yeah, you know, like that's, no, no, I don't actually, I can't, hmm. Oh no, wait, hold on. <gasps> yeah! I won all golf. Everyone loves me, the butt master. Okay, so that's pretty fun for golf. It's a, it's a standard golf game, but I like it because it's big tournament golf. All right, let's look at uh, Metal Slug, the second mission, to see if any big improvements. The top brass <laughs> tickled pink with PF squad success in first mission, plans to deploy squads all over the world. Yet squad members sent out on faulty info that too often led to dead ends soon lost faith in Intelligence HQ. Uh, don't we all? At this time, the Rebel Strike Phantom, led by M Commander Makuba, resumed stuff. Skeptical of IHQ info on Makuba, the PS school. How do you even do the second mission when you can't even trust your intelligence? Oh shit. Is that flamethrower? Okay, I didn't really want the flame gun, but I didn't really have a choice there. And not a great spread on that flamethrower. All right, another one of these little missions. It's about the same. Yeah, dropping bombs and such. What? Oh, I continue on and I have a backpack. Okay, you have to keep hammering the B button to keep afloat. That's actually incredible. There was a hat. I missed a hat and I'm getting hit by literally everything. Oh my God. Oh, I'm super dead game over. So yeah, the second mission is actually quite different compared to the first, or it plays a little bit better technically, which is really impressive. All of the box though, look at that. That's, oh my God, Shiki's in this? And Shermie! More powerful and babelicious than ever, baby, who will be the quintessential maiden of mayhem? Wait, go to the distance, fighting... <laughs> Fighting goddessdom awaits you. It's amazing. A dream match will end the participation of only the finest woman combatants. So the winner's presentation of the K talisman that grants any wish. With their individual motives drawing at them on, the women ready themselves to engage in battle. K talisman awaits any wish. These saucy ladies will will fight until they die. Oh my God! Look at Shermie's suplex. Is a silhouette. That's not, that's not Iori's silhouette, is it? It probably is. All right, let's press a button. Oof mode. <laughs> Man, I really hope Shermie is in King of Fighters 15. I mean, she's not like, you know, not the end of the world, but I think she's super underutilized. But I think canon-wise, SNK, um... SNK uh, fighter, like, oh god, what was, the, what was the name of it? The Switch and PS4 one, the, the console fighting game. Um, Tag Team Frenzy, like that's apparently a canon game. And and it means that Shermie got out of the, the, the dimension she was stuck in. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. You stick, <laughs> your footwork is pathetic. Shermie's so cool. So that is SNK Gal Fighters, I think. All the uh, fighting games are, you know, pretty similar, but they're all great fun. Uh, thanks again to SNK and Home Run PR for sending me for a code for this. I think this is a really amazing, cute little collection with a lot of games and a lot to offer, actually. And this is just a uh, volume one, so there's probably going to be more down the line. It's available on the Switch right now, and check it out if you want some pocket-sized fun.